as we work through this Middle East convo, convo of Beirut, we want to bring awareness into an American versus pretend Americans. So everybody we're watching on fake news media are associated with the Middle East. So we know that Gary Vaynerchuk was on a broadcast with a psycho, sicko woman who was born, I think she was born in like Tennessee or maybe North or South Carolina. And then she moved to Qatar. And she's so ignorant and so low class that she does not care about life itself. She only cares about running over people, reaming them, and getting a story that's not even a real story of interest or... Like, you know, a lot of people who do news media would want to protect people, but these people don't want to protect people. They want to fuel drama and then look like they're tattling on gossip. And then with the Collins crew, they're like, well, what do you think? And tell me what you think. And tell me, they're like, they're like interrogators. It's like an innocent man being taken in as a spy and the person's innocent and there's nothing to tell except for actual policy because we want as a Republican community, we want the United States to function and to thrive and we have to do effortful behaviors to get those things done. However, what is being, what is stopping us is the news media because what happens with the news media where it's all, where it all began was all instigative, horrific conversations that abuse millions of people so that they can feel a story of what look, looks like a movie. But all of this was done on the backs of Obama. So the word democracy is an example of definition of a democracy factually is a democracy is the majority decides and makes decisions. However, it doesn't mean that you're going to sit on a, on a wall of a college and tell us what you think. Now, that's why we have the House of Representatives. So you vote for your representatives. And then you tell us that we want you to be in office and then they work it out so we don't have Minnesota problems like BLM and Kamala Harris bailing people out of prison. Obviously, they were involved in that. They burned down people's businesses. And then they called themselves heroes for bailing out criminals. Well, then all of these people went and looted store brands and big business. So were those same businesses are now talking about getting price gouged. So now Kamala Harris is going to tell you what you're going to be charging when you have to pay your workers. And the workers like Amazon are wanting to go on strike because they want more money. And the people at McDonald's are wanting more hourly rate and we're watching it on the news media. Because Kamala Harris is sitting on her pedestal telling everyone that they deserve more money while giving all the money away to the migrants. And then influencers are waving their private parts in our faces like Motivan, but Motivan's not American. And then you're watching democracy turn from the majority rules to the majority rulers. That's not an American culture at all. And if everybody said that an innocent person like myself should be assassinated, which is what you made a movie about. So John Cena and some Asian chick made a movie about how they were trying to kill me. And they think that's funny. But you want to pay attention to how that's not funny based on the con content that I've produced and the abuse that I've been able to withstand while not asking for any validation, while protecting children, and not sure if there are any innocent people out there. All I can see are villains and, and bad people. 
who are trying to take from me so that they can run to the bank and say, I won. So that, in a sense of democracy, is not democracy because I'm the good guy and Kamala Harris is the bad guy. Because you're being brainwashed by a pervert named Persian, named Motivan. Now, when you are a Middle Eastern in America, you came from dirt, literally. Your land in Persia and Iran has been sucked the life out of because you have no joy and happiness in Persia, also known as Iran. Because the mentality is what Obama is trying to create here in this country, that gold and money and jewels is more valuable than relationships between two people. And Pookie and Mona Vand and Heather Lamusa and all you women who produce content are demonstrators of how Iran dried up and has only dirt to stand on. So what Mona Van did was around the age of 13 is what the message came through earlier today. Around 13 years old, she moved to the country, probably Canada. They usually, in the Middle East area, they usually come to this country around 13 to 15. I've told you this before. And then expected to be waited on hand and foot and worshiped. And usually it's the rich ones over in the Middle East that come to this country. It's all rich people because they all are on the land of oil. So while they only know dirt, dry personality with no, no ability to laugh and be joyous, they only know waving and being illogical and their brains are really, really strange. It is almost like talking to a brick wall and then saying, I'm pretty, I got money, do what I say and believe this. Ooh, I feel good. Literally, that's what she does. She's physically violating and abusing me. Although it's me battling her constantly at this point. She's trying her best, but she's failing miserably. And if I wasn't as strong as I, as I am, I probably would not be here anymore. Because she's got a bunch of people just like herself from the Middle East. You are not going to win Muslims because why? You are wrong. You can do whatever you want to those people, but our military is a lot stronger than we're playing it up to right now. Anywho, she has the mindset in her mind that she was going to just make it, spreading her legs wide, wearing erotic clothing and get accepted by a group of people who are vicious, vile, and evil by being sweet and getting Gary Vaynerchuk to get her into the doors of New York Fashion Week while he is kind and then she gets to be evil. And if you watch her content from the beginning of all of this shit to where we are today, you can see what evil looks like in growth. And it gets worse as the years go by because you get old and because people have never liked you from the very beginning, but in her sick mind, she's living a Persian life on American soil and using narcissistic, autistic personality disorders to see what, what moves you into vulnerable spaces and then using that as a weapon against you and then trying to finagle her way into getting you to do what she wants you to think, to feel, and to believe, which is what Kamala Harris is doing with the campaign, even though in front of you, you have factual information, and then she always wears white. And then she wears white. And the fact that you still can't wrap your head around the villainous behavior of showing people white is, is showing us that you've really got some mental issues. The story should be replaying over and over your head. Do not let it go. Always remember what she's done. Never forget, because that's the game of the Middle East. Do not forget about 9-11. Don't forget what Mona Van did with 9-11. Do not forget about 9-11. 
Do not forget about 9-11.